Now on Cox TV News. Finally, some much needed rain for Del Mar, but not a drought busting rain, but we'll take it as it comes. And we'll see the rain ending this morning, then a drier Veterans Day. Latest on the rain and your work week forecast coming up. Drought dangers. We're looking at other states and what they are dealing with due to the dry conditions. Veterans Day in Del Mar, but details on the number of events taking place today on the peninsula. This is Coast TV News Today. Here it is, folks. Rain. We really haven't seen this since September, but we are now seeing, or we did see, consistent steady rain. This was the scene earlier this morning on Coastal Highway in with Beach. Now that's how we start our Monday morning, a Veterans Day morning as we continue in our six o'clock hour. Good morning, I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. It's November 11th, 2024. Yeah, rainy days and Mondays. It's mm -hmm. Carpenter's classic yeah. song, Paige, and it is our story so far. It is, definitely. You know, I'm, I just thought about this, too. I have the little red poppies that oh, yes. I didn't wear for today's show. I'll wear it on Coast Life, but okay. dang it. So if you have a red poppy, don't forget to wear it out today to work or wherever yeah, you're going. Yeah, it's big in America. It's really big in Canada yeah. and in, in the United United Kingdom, Britain, yeah. but to honor, started with World War One mm -hmm. as we celebrate Veterans Day today. Definitely. So quick reminder before you go out the door, another quick reminder though, be careful on those roads because yeah, we are talking rain today. So Bob, a lot of rain on the roads, a lot of puddles I saw and leaves, wet leaves, a big one. Yeah, and the combination of the wet roads and leaves will lead to slippery conditions. So it's been a while since we've driven on the wet roads. It's been over a month, and now that streak of 44 days is now over as we have the much needed rain. Some of that coming down moderate at times through the overnight hours, and we're seeing oh, a few showers across Sussex County right now around Seaford and then farther to the south and east near Ocean View, near Ocean Pines. And then farther south, we have dried up for now from Salisbury across much of Maryland. Maryland and Virginia, but the eastern shore now starting to see more showers again from Denton down to Herlock, Federalsburg, another round of showers, and those extend down into Bishop's Head as well. So we're not done with the rain yet. I think the heaviest rain continues to move offshore, but we're still looking at more of those showers moving out of Virginia. So keep the umbrella handy and just take it slower on the roads. Once again, it's been a while since we've driven in the rain and we've got more showers back to the west. There's a cold front that will move through later on and start to cool us off. We're looking at temperatures in the 60s out the door and gusty winds over 20 miles per hour too so it's breezy still more rain this morning could come down heavier at times for a little while and then by mid morning we start to dry it out with temperatures into the 60s more sunshine by noon so for your veterans day by that time it will dry out with 60s and then lower 70s by the afternoon hour so a much nicer afternoon of course we're honoring our service members for today and thanking them for their service by 9 a.m cloud 63 by one o'clock 71 with sunshine and then back to 67 with clear skies at five o'clock much more on your veterans day and work week forecast coming up a little bit later on in the newscast thank you bob and as we're seeing and as we've been saying we finally have rain we went over 40 days without it yeah hard to believe coast tv news reporter elisa weber is in our newsroom elisa that rain a shock to some people as we all woke up this morning yeah, Paige, when I woke up this morning, I heard the rain outside and I was like, what is that? I mean, it's been over 40 days since we've experienced rain here on Delmarva. So it was a good thing to hear because as we've been saying here on Coast TV, we need this rain. And as we mentioned to you a little bit earlier that there are rainy conditions out on the roads this morning. So you definitely want to be careful when you're driving. We've had a lot of leaves fall this fall and now they're on the roads and they are wet. And as it's still dark outside before the sun comes up, you especially want to be careful because it's hard to see what's in front of you at times. And also if you see any standing water, there's a couple of puddles outside. Just be careful and don't drive through any of those puddles and make sure that you grab your rain jacket on the way outside today because we haven't had to use one in a while. So you want to dust some dust off of your rain jacket. It might have been collecting. So just be careful out there today. And as Bob mentioned, it will lighten up throughout the day. Back to you. Alisa, thank you so much. Now, other areas in the Northeast, they've been dealing with brush fires during the drought. Take a look at this right now. This is the situation in Massachusetts. A brush fire burning in the Lynn Woods doubled in size in just less than 24 hours. It grew to 200 acres. Fire officials warning that smoke will be persistent throughout that area. It has its beginnings at the end of World War I, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And yeah, now over 100 years later, Veterans Day become the day we honor all those servicemen and women who at one time answered our call to defend our nation. 
And there are a number of events on Delmarva, including at Fort Miles at the Cape Henlopen State Park. Reenactors there will bring history to life with portrayals of soldiers stationed at the site in years past. At 11 a.m., American Legion Post 166 in Ocean City will be having a ceremony. At 3 p.m., the Rehoboth Concert Band will host Duty, Honor, and Country, a Veterans Day tribute at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. Ocean Pines, Worcester County Veterans Memorial Foundation will be holding a traditional Veterans Day ceremony at 11 Air Force veteran Robert Hansen will be serving as the guest speaker. And you can find more details on those events and others scheduled for today. And you can find that on Coast TV's website and app. All right, we're now going to go take a live look at Washington, D.C. There is the Capitol on this Monday morning. Plenty of changes about to take place in that city. Preparations already underway for Donald Trump's second term as president. And as NBC's Chris Pallone shows us, the Democrats are looking at an old playbook ahead of them and the new administration taking office. No President-elect Trump completing a sweep of all the battleground states in this election, winning Arizona this weekend and touting his success on social media, writing, Thank you, God, won all swing states and the popular vote by almost 7 million voters. With just over two months before Inauguration Day, Mr. Trump is filling out his cabinet, naming former Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director Tom Homan to be the, quote, border czar putting him in charge of deporting immigrants who cross the border illegally. There's no price tag on protecting the safety and security of our country and our citizens. President Trump is going to enforce the law, and we haven't had that over the last four years. As the Department of Justice winds down investigations into the president-elect's first term, his allies in Congress may just be ramping up. Congressman Jim Jordan says nothing is off the table when it comes to special counsel Jack Smith sending a letter to preserve all investigation information. All we said is we want you to preserve the, preserve the documents. We want to see what's going on. On the other side of the aisle, Democrats bracing for changes turn their attention to the Supreme Court, specifically 70-year-old Justice Sonia Sotomayor. Some Democrats have called on her to retire while President Biden is still in the White House. But on Meet the Press, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders says he doesn't think Sotomayor should step down. No, I don't. Is, have you heard any talk of this? A little bit, yes. I don't think it's a sensible approach. President Biden has promised a peaceful transition to the second Trump term. He and President-elect Trump are expected to meet Wednesday at the White House. Chris Pallone, NBC News. This morning, President Biden waking up there at the White House, but it was on Sunday he spent his final day of his most recent stay along our coast. This is some video now of the President and the First Lady taking a walk on the beach. This was Biden's 12th trip this year to his North Shore's home. He spent about an hour on that walk before he then made his way back to his home. Biden flew to Washington Sunday afternoon. It was a direct flight from Gordon's Pond to our nation's capital. New this morning, a brand new building. After more than a year of construction, the new Ocean City Firehouse is fully operational. With a kitchen that's connected to a balcony overlooking Ocean City and the largest fitness room currently in any firehouse within the town. One of the most important additions is the decontamination suite. It washes off all those chemicals that firefighters encounter when out on a call. Here's why that's so important. This plays a big role in protecting firefighters from health risks like cancer. We want to do everything we can to prevent that, and this is one of the things that we have done. It hooks to the exhaust so that when the unit gets started up, it captures it and then it filters it out and exhausts it out. And this new building won't stop fires from happening, but hopefully it will make the department more equipped to handle them when they do and to keep emergency workers safer once they get home. All right, we're just getting started this morning or on this hour of Coast TV News Today. Yeah, coming up, honoring Harriet Tubman. What is planned later this morning for the famed Eastern Shore abolitionist? Also ahead, inlet bridge lane closure, the project beginning that's affecting traffic on Coastal Highway. And Lewis Fire, the early Monday morning situation that brought several responders to a development west of Route 1. Coast TV News Today, back after this. It starts with our oldest family tradition, artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce, but don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie, it's a primo. In 1925, a simple bank ledger began journaling the transactions of life in Willards, Maryland. New houses, barns, and farm equipment, growing families and businesses both big and small, a record through time of hardship and prosperity. A hundred years ago, the founding of the Farmers Bank of Willards was vital to the town. 
100 years later, banking has changed, but the Farmers Bank remains steadfast in its original mission, keeping and reinvesting millions of dollars right here for the benefit of our communities. this Thanksgiving. Shell Brothers. It starts with our oldest family tradition. Artisan bread topped with the finest hand-sliced meats and cheeses. Add in the freshest locally grown produce. But don't forget the mmm, mmm, mmm. In our house, it's not just a hoagie. It's a prim. It is 611 on this wet Monday morning. The first time we've seen rain, measurable rain since the end of September. Here's a look at Milford looking at, well, wet roads out there. And we're seeing the rain continuing to move through the area. Kind of uh, occasional rain, but now more showers eastern shore from Denton down to American Corner. And some of that moving into Sussex County as well. Some heavier rain between Bucktown and Gun Gum Swamp. So we still have those showers that are moving through here the next couple of hours. This is all ahead of a cold front. The heaviest of the rain has now pushed offshore, but we'll see more of those showers the next couple of hours. Out the door, we have temperatures in the low 60s, and we also have gusty winds coming in out of the southwest. So kind of a messy ferry ride over to Cape May and back. We're looking at the rain through about mid-morning. Temperatures in the 60s and then sunshine later in the morning to about the noon hour and gusty winds and temperatures by noon right around 70 degrees. Here this morning, and we actually have new information from when we reported this last hour. Crews were on the scene of a fire in the Sandy Bray neighborhood. That is in Lewis. The house on fire, we are being told, was completely destroyed. Units from Rehoboth Beach, Georgetown, Slaughter Beach, Ellendale, Indian River, Millsboro, and Milton were assisting there. Happening today, the right northbound lane of the Indian River Inlet Bridge will be closed for a month. We're going to show you right now on your screen, that's the general area of that closure. That'll be the case through December 11th, and according to DelDOT, this is for the installation of a sheet pile wall. That work is related to ongoing erosion and that inlet repair project. Tesla shares have rallied more than 30% since the start of last week. Tesla's market cap also surpassed $1 trillion in market value for the first time. That was on Friday. This rally comes on the heels of Donald Trump's presidential election win as investors bet the EV company will benefit from the new administration. CEO Elon Musk has been a vocal supporter of Trump and was closely involved in the president-elect's campaign. A U.S. appeals court rejected American Airlines' attempts to revive a partnership with JetBlue. The court agreed with a previous ruling. The airline's Northeast Alliance is anti-competitive and it violates federal antitrust laws. The venture launched in 2020 allowed the airlines to coordinate flights in and out of New York City and Boston and pool revenue. Coming up this morning, keep on trucking the event that brought trucks and truckers to the midshore this weekend. It is a breezy and wet Monday morning. You can see the flags waving in the wind in Lewis right now, and we finally do get the much needed rain for Delmarva. Not a drought busting rain, but we'll take it as it comes. We're seeing the rain ending this morning and then a drier Veterans Day on the way. The latest on that, the rain and your work week forecast coming up in two minutes. This Thanksgiving season, Delaware Electric Cooperative is giving $10 million back to the people we are proud to power. Members who received electric service from the co-op in 2012 and 2013 will receive a credit on their November bill. As a not-for-profit utility, the credits are a return on the investment members have made in DEC over the years. Our co-op belongs to you, and we're so thankful to Power Central and Southern Delaware. From our co-op family to yours. Happy Thanksgiving! Oh, porches. Hello. 
know. Aren't you the guy I see on TV, the porch protection guy? Yeah, so I would So they're say... made of marine grade materials that last for years? Yeah, I would And go... they say I could use my porch all year round? I think and so. And they keep the dirt pollen and rain and wind out? And, and the so... custom made right here locally? They are. I got to run, but it was really nice talking to you. Well, it was nice talking to you, too. Call or visit porchprotection.com for your free quote. In 2019, two visionaries banded together behind a restaurant to create the ultimate pizza, starting from scratch, just like our dough. At the Dough Bar, everything is a season for a reason. From our gourmet specialty pizzas to our signature sandwiches and mouth-watering entrees, we use high-quality ingredients for a freshness you'll crave. Enjoy our specialty cocktails with 16 craft brews on tap, or toast your own s'mores tableside by the water. Order online or visit the Dough Bar, Milton, Delaware's hidden gem. Right now, pet dander, skin cells, mold spores, pollen, and dirt are being sucked into your air ducts. Get cleaner air and system efficiency now with Stanley Steamer. For over 75 years, we've continually engineered our equipment and processes to deep clean your entire home. Your air ducts aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. Time is 616, and we are giving you a live look at Lewis. We saw rain there earlier. Now we see the wind. Uh, rain, though, Bob, that is the story this morning. That is the big story, Matt. The dry streak finally comes to an end at 44 days, and it is a messy morning out there. First time we've seen rain in some time, so finally, great to see the rain. Laurel, almost 7 tenths of an inch of rain for you, 69 hundredths. Lewis, a little less than that, 63 hundredths in Seaford. Gumboro, 61 hundredths. Stockley, 6 tenths and 57 hundredths in Ellendale. We haven't seen this kind of rain in a long time. The list goes on. Georgetown, over a half an inch, the same for Harbison. Dagsboro, 51 hundredths, a half an inch in Rehoboth Beach, and Bethany Beach, 46 hundredths of an inch of rain. So great to see the rain as the dry streak ends at 44 days. So that is the new record from September 27th to November 10th of this year. Yeah. Quite a stretch indeed. Temperature wise out the door this morning, it's mild. We're into the low 60s, 63 in Del Mar, 62 Ocean City, Bethany Beach, 63. And we've got gusty winds out of the southwest at times, gusting over 20 miles per hour. So kind of a rainy, windy morning as we see these showers continuing to move through. They were moderate to heavy at times earlier, and we're still seeing the rain. And it's moving back into Sussex County now around Bridgeville, back through Seaford near Del Mar. You're seeing the showers too. Mardella Springs. Also some heavier rain. It's dry from Salisbury towards the coast right now, but still seeing some showers around Princess Anne and a scattering of showers around the eastern shore. There's that heavier rain between Vienna and Gum Swamp. So we'll continue watching showers moving through the next couple of hours as we are tracking a cold front that is moving our way. It's out ahead of that front that we're seeing that rain, the heaviest rain now moving offshore, and we're also seeing the showers extending up into the northeast as well. There's a cold front back to our west. It's ahead of it that we're seeing some of those showers and behind it it is much drier air across the Midwest. In fact we've got a series of cold fronts that will push drier and colder air our way as we go through the midweek time period. So this looks like our only shot of rain for quite a while. Here's future cast this morning. We've got the showers through about 730. Keep the umbrella handy. By mid morning we're starting to dry it out but it's breezy out of the southwest. Then by noon clouds are decreasing and then by mid afternoon we're into the low 70s. A little cooler at the beaches as we go through this evening skies clear out and by midnight the winds start to pick up from the northwest and it gets chilly 40s and 50s tomorrow morning it's going to be a blustery and sunny day tomorrow but highs only into the upper 50s and then it's a big cool down tomorrow night and feeling much colder with the wind as temperatures dip into the 30s away from the coast maybe a little touch of frost Wednesday will be another cooler day we could pick up another tenth of an inch of rain or so between now and about 9 a.m. as we see the gusty winds they will begin to diminish a little bit as we go through today and tonight but then pick up out of the northwest tomorrow will be a sunny but blustery and cool day with winds at times gusting over 30 miles per hour and that continues into wednesday morning and our next chance for rain comes on thursday right now it looks like a slight chance with clouds on thursday into early friday but right now it looks like a slight chance of showers paul davis seven day forecast we've got the rain this morning but then the rest of our veterans day is looking dry 73 then 
blustery and sunshine on Tuesday, 60 degrees and then cold 30s Wednesday and Thursday morning, 53 the high on Wednesday. That's it. Pretty chilly and then upper 50s Thursday and Friday. It dries out for the weekend and temperatures in the 60s for highs. Thank you so much. All right, so get this a mountainous skiing location in New Mexico is open historically early this season. Sandia Pink Ski Area is reporting they got 36 inches of snow during a recent storm. So its managers say that enabled them to start operating weeks before the normal opening time. The snow isn't groomed just yet, but of course that doesn't stop customers from lining up to hit the slopes. This morning, Ellendale police are continuing a search for a woman they say drove away from them after giving a fake name. Police say they pulled over, the chief pulled over, Genevieve Longoria, who had an expired tag and gave a false name. That's when police used a portable fingerprint scanner to confirm identity. Officer, officer say Longoria backed up into a yard, drove around the police car, and then sped away. The fourth annual Shore Good Truck Show and Poll for a Great Cause took place in Easton this weekend. The day is dedicated to the trucking industry and it's filled with all things trucks, of course. Around 300 truckers participated in the annual show. There's also a truck pull where drivers hooked up their vehicles and they saw how far they could pull a weighted sled. It's just a day for these truckers to take a day off. They work so hard and they need to relax one day and this is for them to do it with their friends and their families. Proceeds from the event benefit the Diabetes Research Institute and the Tuckahoe Steam and Gas Association there in Easton. Coming up, Veterans Day honors for Harriet Tubman, the military rank she will posthumously receive this morning for work with the Underground Railroad. Coast TV News Today returns in a moment. Listen to 93.5 The Beach, Delmarva's rock station. The holidays are coming fast. Imagine greeting your guests with a beautifully refaced kitchen without having to tear out your old cabinet. We'll reface your cabinets with five layers of high quality hardwood in your choice of color. Including new doors, drawers, and hardware, all for half the cost of a full remodel. Completed in as little as three days. Right now, save 20%, get a free microwave, and pay as little as $100 per month. Call today and get your kitchen completed by Christmas. Call Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division like myself and cabinetry to ensure that you have the best product to fit your needs. And your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. It was very important to find somebody that was knowledgeable in the whole picture, the cabinetry, the appliances, and the countertop. We are delighted with the outcome. Delmarva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Are you tired of your old and dirty floors? Your living room looks like it survived a pinata party with a hundred kids? Don't worry, Matt the Carpet Guy is the flooring hero. Here you find a great selection of vinyl flooring and carpets in stock at the best price. With LVP starting at $1.99 a square foot, we're a family business working with contractors, installers, and do-it-yourselfers. Don't worry, Matt the Carpet Guy is the flooring hero. Flooring done right. Not everyone wants a big funeral. For those seeking a simple alternative, the Eastern Shore's most trusted family and funeral service offers another option. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Service is simple and affordable. A direct cremation tribute starts at just $15.95 or choose to have a small visitation service, serving Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia with easy consultation by phone and streamlined electronic documentation. Learn more at easternshorecremation.com. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Services, simply respectful. Honoring Harriet Tubman on Veterans Day. That is what's taking place on the midshore in Church Creek. Maryland Governor Wes Moore will be commissioning Harriet Tubman to the rank of Brigadier General. So as part of her work with Underground Railroad, that of course helped free slaves during the 1800s. Tubman for military service as a spy, scout, nurse, and cook. That's really just to name a few. A ceremony is scheduled to begin at 9.45 this morning at the Underground Railroad State Park and Visitor Center there in Dorchester County. If you drive Route 5 in Sussex County, DelDot wants your thoughts on how to fix it. On Tuesday, DelDot is hosting a public workshop for this intersection, 5 and Cool Spring Road. The agency says it wants to make it safer and will also show some alternative ideas. That workshop is scheduled from 4 to 6. And we are joined again by First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trihe. A rainy early morning, but 
it is shaping up mm -hmm. to be a nice fall afternoon along the coast. Yeah, yeah. and that's great news for Veterans Day, honoring our uh, service members and uh, whatever ceremonies that we have going on. It will improve throughout the day. But as to take in Chincoteague early on, even though you don't see rain icons, I think we'll see some showers through mid-morning. Otherwise, sunshine, temperatures into the upper 60s, waves around 3 to 5 feet. It will be a little breezy at times, UV index moderate. Fenwick Island and Ocean City are looking at showers early. And then by noon, right around 7, degrees and then by five o'clock of course it's getting dark or it's pretty much dark with temperatures in the 60s here's your bayside three-day forecast monday today in cambridge 73 and then a big cool down the next few days only 53 by wednesday chrisfield you've got rain today wind and cold tomorrow and even colder into wednesday as we do start to dry things out so it looks like this is our only day of rain and then really the rest of the week is looking pretty dry much more in your forecast coming up in the next half hour so much, Bob. Also coming up after the break, Biden ended his beach trip as work is already underway in the Trump transition. Wet Road Monday. We have not had to talk about this for a while. What you can expect is you get ready for that morning commute. And Veterans Day on Delmarva. The ceremony is scheduled today to honor the men and women who answered the call in defending our nation. Stay with us on Coast TV News Today. I brought a special guest. I'm back. <laughs> Look for something different every time. I throw mine too, but I can't get it all. <laughs> the Voice, new tonight on NBC and Peacock. Under 100 patients have had this device placed ever. This man has lost his voice, and we could give it back to him. But not every patient can be saved. Roman, can you hear me? Brilliant Minds, tonight on NBC and Peacock. Welcome to Beach Barrels. No matter where you're from, everyone is a local. Fun times and good vibes await with a wide variety of craft brews, plus our award-winning Primo Hoagies made fresh daily. Dance the night away at the best live music venue in Ocean City. And there's never a bad seat to catch your favorite sports team. Dine in or relax on our outside deck with comfortable seating and beautiful palm trees for a cozy, tropical atmosphere. Beach Barrels open 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. at 132nd and Coastal Highway. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. In 2019, two visionaries banded together behind a restaurant to create the ultimate pizza, starting from scratch, just like our dough. At the Dough Bar, everything is a season for a reason. From our gourmet specialty pizzas to our signature sandwiches and mouth-watering entrees, we use high-quality ingredients for a freshness you'll crave. Enjoy our specialty cocktails with 16 craft brews on tap, or toast your own s'mores tableside by the water. Order online or visit the Dough Bar, Milton, Delaware's hidden gem. Now on Coast TV News. Finally, some much needed rain for Del Mar, but not a drought busting rain, but we'll take it as it comes. We'll see the rain ending this morning, then a drier Veterans Day. Latest on your Veterans Day forecast, a rain in your work week forecast coming up. Many parts of Delmarva are experiencing rain, and I'll tell you what the roads are like as you prepare to head to work this morning. The beach trip ends for Biden as he heads into a week that'll see more transition into the next Trump presidency. Disputing Delaware reassessment, the key dates you should know as new valuations are being sent to property owners. This is Coast TV News Today. And we are beginning this half hour talking about this wet Monday morning. Here's what it looked like earlier on 94th Street in Ocean City. Welcome back. Rain, yes, indeed. November 11th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. Time is 629. Paige, I actually had to find my raincoat. It was mm -hmm. buried in my closet. It wasn't an easy find. Really? You must have a lot of coats. Actually, I do. Really? Yeah. That's a good problem to have. Yeah, I didn't even bother, honestly. I kind of just didn't even think about it until I got into my car. So... Rain boots and raincoat are staying in the closet today. Okay. Not like it's any different than Yeah, I don't though. think you're going to need them uh, the rest of the day. Maybe not the rest <laughs> of the day. Yeah, I'll bring in Bob right now. Bob, this rain was nice, but it's not lasting forever.
Oh, it's not lasting forever. And how about the umbrellas? You got to blow the dust off of them, too, since it's been 44 days since we've seen the rain. But that streak has come to an end with measurable rain this morning. And some of that rain coming down at a pretty good clip the last few hours. We've got more showers moving into Sussex County now from Milford down to Bridgeville. Pretty wet on 113 down to Georgetown right now over towards Dewey Beach. Hard scrabble as well. Looks like a heavier shower around Del Mar right now. Mardella Springs and into Salisbury. You're seeing that steady rain and then still more rain down into Deal Island and Nanticoke. So not done with the rain yet as we're still seeing the showers moving across Del Mar. But the heaviest of the rain has now moved offshore as we do have a cold front back to our west. So we're still tracking those showers over the top of us, I think, for the next couple of hours or so. 63 in uh, Del Mar right now, 63 in Milton and Bethany Beach. So it's a mild start to the day. We're seeing southwesterly winds pretty gusty around 20 miles per hour. So it's a breezy, wet morning. Here's 7 a.m. on Future still have the rain. Make sure you drive slower. We've got a lot of leaves on the roads. It's been a while since we've driven in the rain and those roads will be a little slippery. Here's mid morning. I think we start to dry things out and then the sun comes out later this morning into this afternoon. So we'll salvage part of our Veterans Day by 2 30. It's pretty nice with low 70s inland 60s at the coast. And as we go into this evening, temperatures falling through the 60s. If you're going for a jog this morning, it's going to be wet right through about 8 a.m. Otherwise, we're looking at drying conditions a little breezy, especially early on this morning and temperatures warming through the 60s to around 70 by noon. Bob, thank you. Now, as Bob mentioned, we, of course, finally experienced some rain. This is after 40 plus days without it. Yeah, Coast TV news reporter Elisa Weber is in the newsroom. Elisa, when you were driving into work this morning, what were you thinking about all the conditions you were experiencing on the roads? Yeah, good morning, Matt and Paige. When I walked out to my car this morning, there were a ton of raindrops all over my car, and I was like, what is this? Because it's been 40 days simply to experience rain here on Del Marva. And when I was driving in this morning, I noticed there were a lot of wet leaves on the road, so it's important to just drive slowly. You know, we haven't been driving in rain for almost since September, so you just want to be careful, especially as kids start to walk out to the school bus and more people get on the roads. There also are some puddles on the road, so just never drive through standing water. Just be careful that you don't wreck your vehicle, but again, just be careful this morning. The rain sounds like it's starting to kick back up again, so it's going to be on and off. But again, just be careful. We've needed this rain for quite some time now, so I think all of us were happy to hear those raindrops this morning. But just be careful and bring your rain jacket back to you. Lisa Weber, thank you. Neighboring states dealing with a much more dangerous situation with a drought. This is in New York near the New Jersey border and crews there battling one of the hundreds of brush fires in the two states since October 1st. One firefighter died Sunday night as the Jennings Creek wildfire had grown from 2,500 acres early Sunday to 3,000 acres as of 6.30 p.m. Happening today, Veterans Day events are happening all over Delmarva. It is a day we honor those service men and women who at one time answered the call to defend our nation. Yes, yeah, so in Milton, the Rookery Golf Course, they'll be holding the Delmarva Folds of Honor Golf Tournament in honor of veterans and first responders. That opening ceremony is at 945. And the Worcester Pines, Worcester, or the Ocean Pines, Worcester County Veterans Memorial Foundation will hold a traditional Veterans Day ceremony. That'll be at 11 a.m. Air Force veteran Robert Hansen will serve as the guest speaker. At Fort Myers, at the Cape Penlopen State Park, reenactors will bring history to life with portrayals of soldiers stationed at the site in years past. At 3 p.m., the Rehoboth Concert Band will host Duty, Honor, and Country, a Veterans Day tribute. This will be at the Rehoboth Beach Convention Center. And you can find more details on all of these events and others scheduled for today on our website, coasttv.com, and our app. Well, there's nothing like the new digs. Firefighters in Ocean City, they now have a brand new firehouse in Midtown. Yeah, Coast TV news reporter Kevin Zappé shows us the critical features inside this station. Bit by bit, brick by brick, the new firehouse in Ocean City has opened its doors and is now a key part of emergency services along the coast. And Fire Chief Richard Bowers couldn't be happier. From start to finish, and, and now that we're occupying it, it far exceeded any expectation I had. It met everything it needed to meet, but it even exceeded those expectations. So couldn't be any happier. Coast TV got an exclusive walkthrough of the building. So let's take a look at the highlights. Inside, there is a lounge area, bunk rooms, training area, a kitchen with one heck of a view as it's connected to a balcony overlooking Ocean City, loads of storage space, the largest fitness room currently in any firehouse within the town, and then there's this, a decontamination suite. It washes off all those chemicals that firefighters encounter out on a call. And here's why that's so important. 
It plays a big role in protecting firefighters from health risks like cancer. So we want to do everything we can to prevent that. And this is one of the things that we have done. It hooks to the exhaust so that when the unit gets started up, it captures it and then it filters it out and exhausts it out. The new building won't stop fires from happening, but hopefully it will make the department more equipped to handle them when they do and to keep emergency workers safe when they get home. Although it does say the third station right behind me, this is actually the fourth station built in Ocean City. And Chief Bowers is hopeful that the response times for emergencies will be even faster than what they are now. I'm Kevin Zappé in Ocean City, Coast TV News. And the border played a big part in the 2024 election. We now know who President-elect Donald Trump wants to fix it. Former Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director Tom Homan has been named as border czar. He made that announcement on Truth Social, saying that Homan's responsibilities would include the southern border, the northern border, all maritime and aviation security. Homan will also be in charge of deporting all of those who gained access to the United States illegally back to their country of origin. To Ocean City now, officials on the peninsula saying the result of the presidential election could have an impact on offshore wind. With Donald Trump and J.D. Vance winning, also Republicans holding the majority in the Senate and the House trending in that direction, officials in Fenwick Island and throughout Worcester County think they'll have a more sympathetic ear in Washington when it comes to their fight against offshore wind and that we'll have an open pathway of communication to the Trump administration, as well as our own Andy Harris, who uh, will also be in the majority, again, have the ear of a uh, Republican president, and that we'll be able to finally break through and get our concerns heard. Fenwick Island's mayor saying she believes the current administration has turned a blind eye to economic and environmental impacts. Ocean City Mayor Rick Meehan, who just won re-election, saying his top priority is fighting those wind farms. This morning, President Biden is back in Washington, D.C. It was on Sunday that he spent his final day of this most recent stay along our coast. We have video of the President and First Lady boarding the Marine One helicopter at Gordon's Pond parking lot. This was Biden's 12th trip this year to his North Shore's home. On Sunday, he spent an hour on a walk on the beach before making his way back to his house, and then Biden flew back to Washington late Sunday afternoon. Today, he is scheduled to take part in Veterans Day ceremonies and will also spend part of the day in Wilmington. Happening today, property owners in Sussex County can begin to contest your new valuation from the court-ordered property reassessment. The order stems from a lawsuit alleging Delaware schools were underfunded due to property values that have not been assessed since the 1970s. So according to the release from local lawmakers, property owners should receive tentative value notices any time now. But while property value will undoubtedly go up, according to Delaware law, counties cannot collect higher than 15% more in property taxes than the year before. The, abil the ability to contest that valuation ends January 31st of 2025. Still more news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Still ahead, expansion at Cape Penlopen, where the state park is looking to make some changes. Also, demolition in Dallas. The big day by Jalen Hurts and the Eagles win over the Cowboys. And a monkey search in South Carolina. The effort to track down the animals that escaped from a research center. Stick with us on Coast TV News today. Born in the stars, formed in the earth, shaped by designers around the world, and curated by Kalsa Jewelers in Lewis. Paul Chen, also known as Sunder Kalsa, is a meditation and yoga master as well as the owner of Kalsa Jewelers. At Kalsa Jewelers, we offer signature pieces to celebrate love and those special moments in our life. Peace to all, light to all, love to all. Celebrate with us at Historic Lewis and Rehobo Beach. As temperatures drop, FH Fur invites you to be part of something truly heartwarming, our Fall into Comfort toy drive. Through December 15th, for only $29, the experts at FH Fur will perform a comprehensive heating system inspection, ensuring your home stays snug through the chilly months ahead. The best part? 100% of the proceeds will go to the United States Marine Corps Reserve's Toys for Tots. Schedule your heating inspection today with FH Fur. 877 call fur FHFur.com Turn your home into a masterpiece with Artwork Painting. Local professional painters at an affordable price. Artwork Painting did an excellent job with our house. We were really happy with all of the pieces of work they did, uh, the drywall work, the walls, the trim. I would definitely recommend Artwork Painting for your house. Artwork Painting treats our customers and their homes with care, delivering quality work and experiences. Call Artwork Painting now for a free same-day estimate. Artwork Painting, keeping Southern Delaware beautiful inside and out. 
At Tillman Orthodontics, we love to laugh and smile. Especially during the holidays, when the best memories are made with family and friends. Whether you choose clear liners like me, or regular braces like me, we'll keep you smiling through every family photo, even the goofy ones. Because orthodontic care isn't just for today. It's a gift from us that truly lasts a lifetime. This holiday season, transform and celebrate with a brighter smile from Tillman Orthodontics. Just about 640 on this wet Monday morning. Here's our Tyndall's casual furniture cam. We're at the base of the clouds here up on the tower. Kind of cool shot here with the rain and you can already see things are greening up a little bit from the rain. We picked up at least a half an inch and the rain continues to fall from Milford to Lewis, Dewey Beach, Milton as well. We can hear the rain here at the studio. Millsboro, even some heavier showers moving into Gumbar and Salisbury. You're back in the rain back into Nanticoke and Deal Island as well. So we're not quite done with the rain yet. I think we We've got a couple more hours to go, then it will start to dry out as we do have a cold front back to our west, and that will start to dry us out later today. We're in the 60s out the door, about 61 to 63 right now, and it is breezy as well. Winds over 20 miles per hour, so take it slower on the roads. We've got leaves, pine needles with the rain, so making it a little slippery out there. That's why I gave it the yellow light for the morning commute, and then for the afternoon, much better sun and breezy conditions. Our umbrella giveaway winner, hey, we can finally use the umbrella. Cynthia O'Day from Del Mar, Maryland can use her brand new umbrella today and congrats from Paul Davis and Coast TV. An additional 24 monkeys believed to be among 43 that escaped a South Carolina research facility last week have now been recovered. A total of 25 primates have been recovered and police say they are eyeing a sizable group that are bedded nearby. Sunday's capture comes a day after the recovery of one of the monkeys that escaped the Alpha Genesis Primate Research Center in the town of Yamasee, South Carolina. Big day for the Eagles in Big D. Jalen Hurts threw touchdown passes. He rushed for two touchdowns. The Birds route the Cowboys. And with the win, they take over first place in the NFC East because as we move along inside the Beltway, Washington leading in their game almost the entire second half until this. Steelers, Russell Wilson, 32 yards to Mike Williams. It's a touchdown. They get the extra point. They go up 28-27. And then here's your last chance for the Burgundy and Gold. Fourth and nine at midfield. Jaden Daniels connects with Zach Ertz. The spot on this one, though, it was unkind. Oh, so close for Washington as they drop to seven and three on the season. Football postseason in Delaware is about to begin. We have the high school playoff brackets for all three divisions in the state and each as representation from Sussex County. So let's check out 3A first. Sussex Central will start as the fourth seed in this bracket. Golden Knights get a home playoff game Saturday night with Apoquinimic. Now there was some doubt about Cape Henlopen, but they do get the final seed. Vikings will play Friday night at top seed Salesianum in a rematch of last year's championship game. Let's go to 2A. Got some good representation west of Route 113. Second seed Del Mar will host Red Lion Friday night. Woodbridge gets the fifth seed. The Blue Raiders have a Saturday afternoon game at Archmere. And eight seed Laurel will be on the road Friday night at Caravel. In 1A, there's only one team from Sussex County in this bracket, but that team has the number one seed. Indian River is the team to beat, and the Indians host Conrad Friday night. Championship decided Sunday in NASCAR, as seen here on Coast TV, for the second time in three years. And for the third time overall, Joey Logano wins the cup. Logano finishes ahead of his Penske teammate and 2023 champ Ryan Blaney. And the driver of the 22 car led the final 54 laps in winning at Phoenix. In case you missed it, on Saturday, Cape Henlopen makes it back-to-back -back field hockey state championships. The Vikings 2-1 win over Smyrna brings home another title to the northern Sussex County coast. And the dynasty at Del Mar continues. The Wildcats score the winning goal with under three minutes to go against Wilmington Friends. They take the Division II state championship, and it is the ninth consecutive title for Del Mar, the greatest championship streak in Delaware high school field hockey history. And coming up tonight on the Delmarva Sports Network at 6.30, it's Stellar Fight 64. Post time is at 10, and that's followed by the final score. Hope your weekend was fantastic. Here's what's coming up Monday at 4 on Coastlight. We know we rely so heavily on all of our electronic devices mm -hmm. and how we have to keep them charged. But one thing you maybe don't think about it is the fire risk. So we're going to talk about some safety tips. Yes, and Monday is Veterans Day. So we have 
all the ways you can say thank you to those who serve. And if you're looking for something delicious to end your day on, we've got some great cupcake recipes to share with you. Uh, you don't want to miss all that. All and more is happening Monday at 4 on Coast Life. It is a breezy, wet morning across Del Mar, but here's our gutter helmet cam. You can see the chop on the well, Indian River Bay right there. We've got some showers falling too. It's much needed rain. We picked up at least a half an inch of rain. Finally, the rain tapers off later this morning with a drier Veterans Day in store. I'll have the forecast for that. Details on the rain, rain totals, and a drier week ahead. Your full forecast in two minutes. NBC News Daily. Weekdays at 1 on Coast TV. Did you know incomplete insulation jobs cause more problems than they solve? Adding insulation without air sealing and ensuring proper ventilation can cause mold, discomfort, and potential fire hazards with old wiring. For as little as $100, an energy audit and a blower door test can identify these problems ahead of time so you don't get any surprises during or after the job. If your insulation contractor isn't proving their work through testing, it's unlikely that any of these issues are being addressed. For more information on FLC Energy, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. For surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Gamey Elliott in Salisbury today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Homewell's mission is to bring joy, companionship, and a helping hand into the lives of those we serve. Become a Homewell hero today. I'm a Homewell hero because I transform routine care into meaningful connections. Offering full benefits, weekly pay, holiday pay, and PTO. As a homewell hero, I'm rewarded for my hard work. Our mentor program gives you help on the job, teaching you to be a problem solver. Join us at homewellcares.com and be the hero that someone needs today. 877-CALL-FUR-FHFUR.COM as temperatures drop, FH Fur invites you to be part of something truly heartwarming. Our Fall into Comfort Toy Drive. Through December 15th, for only $29, the experts at FH Fur will perform a comprehensive heating system inspection, ensuring your home stays snug through the chilly months ahead. The best part? 100% of the proceeds will go to the United States Marine Corps Reserve's Toys for Tots. Schedule your heating inspection today with FH Fur. 877-CALL-FUR FHFUR.COM it is 647 on your Monday. We are going to take a live look right now at Laurel. It is cloudy there, Bob. And you know, our directors were telling us watching this, every once in a while a cloud just goes in front of the yeah. camera. And we like clouds today. Hot. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Look how fast they're moving too, Paige. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's breezy out there. It's actually a, a stormy kind of Monday morning, something we like to see. First time in, well, over a month that we've seen the measurable rain, and it was much needed and good to see Laurel. Seven-tenths of an inch of rain for you. That's the highest amount I can find so far. 6,800 for Lewis, Millsboro, 6,400s, 6,300s in Seaford, six-tenths in Stockley, Ellendale, 5,700s, and the list goes on. Indian River Inlet, a little bit over a half an inch for you. 5,500s in Georgetown, a little over half an inch for Harbison and Dagsboro, Rehoboth a half an inch and 4,700s in Bethany Beach. And it continues to rain. And of course, our dry streak has come to an end at 44 days. And that is the new record now from September 27th until yesterday. It was pretty much dry with just a few sprinkles. But now we finally have some measurable rain. Out the door temperatures in the lower 60s now. Salisbury 62, 63 in Bethany Beach and Rehoboth with that 63 and we've got gusty winds too out of the southwest over 20 miles per hour. We continue to see showers moving through the area still seeing the rain from Lewis down to Dewey Beach uh, back into Millsboro. Some heavier rain between Millsboro and 113 down to Selbyville. So take it easy on the roads. Watch for maybe a little bit of minor flooding, especially where those leaves clog up the drains and we're seeing some rain, steady rain around Salisbury to Princess Inn and Nanticoke. So great to see the rain, but of course we've got to commute this morning. So be extra careful as the showers continue to
to move on through. But this is probably the last band of steady showers as we're just seeing some broken showers farther to the west around DC. There is a cold front through western PA and that will be moving through as we go through the afternoon hours starting to dry us out. It will be pretty dry behind this front and then there's another front across the Midwest which will enhance the cold air and the drier. So this is our shot for rain. So good that it's a, a soaking rain this morning. So future cast this morning has a rain between now and about 8 a.m. and then by 9 I think we start to dry things out but still kind of cloudy and then the sun comes out around noon. So great news for the rest of Veterans Day is that it dries out and we'll see the sunshine into the afternoon hours. Lower 70s from Salisbury up to Georgetown around 3:30, mid to upper 60s along the coast and then we cool it down this evening. It gets breezy overnight and pretty chilly in the morning with the wind. 40s and 50s feeling much colder with the wind. Then we're only topping out in the 50s to near 60 but feeling much colder despite sunshine on your Tuesday and still pretty breezy as we go into Wednesday morning, but inland areas will be dipping into the 30s, so maybe a touch of frost at that time. As far as rain, maybe tacking on another few hundreds to about a tenth of an inch of rain, and we're looking at those gusty winds, which will back off a little bit as we go through the day, and then they'll shift and get pretty strong as we go into your Tuesday, which will dry us out once again, and those winds at times gusting over 30 miles per hour and pretty strong right as we go into your Wednesday morning. It clouds up by Thursday, a slight chance of showers later Thursday into Friday. That's our next chance for rain, but right now it does look pretty slim at that point. So this is our rain this morning, so enjoy it. And then sunshine this afternoon, 73. And then Tuesday, 60 on the high, blustery with sunshine. Mid-30s Wednesday and Thursday morning, a high of only 53 Thursday. And then climbing through the 50s, still pretty chilly through the end of the week. And then looking dry for the weekend, sunshine Saturday, 63. More clouds on Sunday and 64. Thank you, Bob. This week, Cape Henlopen State Park wants your thoughts on how to improve its campground. And there's a virtual public workshop at 6 p.m. on Wednesday. The park says they will discuss ideas about campground expansion and also a new cabin complex design. Happening today, Route 90 road work is scheduled for the Ocean City area. According to the town's police department, bridge inspections will be taking place on the Ocean City Expressway both today and Tuesday. On Monday, crews will be working on the bridge over the St. Martin River. On Tuesday, they're focusing on the Assuelman Bay Bridge near Ocean City. Work hours are 9 to 5, and drivers are asked to take Route 50 if possible. All right, time is now 6.51 this morning, and it's time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day, same old Joe. This good boy, we are being told, is a total water dog. After a day at the beach, Joe is eight months old. It was sent to us by Rebecca in Dagsboro. Well, I hope you have a great day, Joe. And don't forget, we want to see all your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos. Tell us what makes your pet so special. Scan that QR code at the top of your screen to submit your furry friend to Coast TV News. And then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. Joe looks like my dogs when I used to take them to the beach. So excited to go into the ocean and get wet. And we're looking at wet conditions this morning in Lewis on the tunnel and razor cam. Breezy as well. We're looking at the wet conditions today. That will dry out, give us the rest of our Veterans Day a drier day. And then we will dry out for the week ahead. It will be cooler too. Slight chance of rain for Thursday. I'll have your 10 day forecast coming up next. For every season, every weather moment, stay ahead with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Phone. Just call 443-880-9100. Your forecast, just a call away. Sponsored by the law offices of Baird, Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. Wow, it's so much bigger than you realize. East Coast Tile and Flooring has the largest selection of tile from around the world. And they are the only Dow Tile Premier Showroom on the shore. They have the knowledge and expertise to assist architects, designers, and homeowners, and are fully licensed to take on any job from start to finish. Family owned and operated since 1947. Call East Coast Tile and Flooring today for a design consultation. Welcome to Kelly's Outdoors, your local outdoor superstore in Millsboro. We carry everything you need this hunting season, from waterfowling gear to deer hunting essentials, bows, tree stands, ammo, and apparel from brands like Drake and Nomad. We also have a wide selection of saltwater and freshwater fishing gear and crabbing supplies for your next day on the water. Kelly's Outdoors now has a wide supply of guns, pistols, and rifles from Rattay, Browning, Winchester, Savage, Beretta, Sig, Springfield, and Smith & Wesson. Before your next outdoor adventure, visit Kelly's Outdoors in Millsboro today. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. 
You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. To learn more, visit nationalguard.com slash DC. Hi, I'm Delaware Insurance Commissioner Trinidad Navarro. Making decisions about your Medicare coverage can be difficult. So, the Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau is here to help. Thousands of Delawareans with Medicare come to us for free one-on-one -on -one assistance with navigating the complex and confusing insurance system. We can help you too. Call our Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau at 302-674-7364 today. As Native Americans, we are striving to tell our stories. We strive to be heard, to preserve our history, to heal and strengthen our future. We proudly strive to illuminate our culture and our ancestors every day. Join us in celebrating Native American heritage. It is 6.55 and it's time for some things you need to know before you go. President Biden waking up this morning at the White House. It was Sunday he spent his final day of his most recent stay along our coast. This was Biden's 12th trip this year to his North Shore's home. He spent about an hour on that walk on the beach before he made his way back to his house. Biden flew back to Washington Sunday afternoon. It was a direct flight from Gordon's Pond to our nation's capital. Border played a big part in the 2024 election, and we now know who President-elect Donald Trump wants to fix it. Former Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director Tom Homan has been named as the border czar. Homan will be in charge of deporting illegal migrants back to their country of origin. The right northbound lane of the Indian River Inlet Bridge will be closed for a month. This will be the case through December 11th. It's for the installation of a sheet pile wall. The work is related to the ongoing erosion and inlet repair projects. The 98th Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City, just less than three weeks away. Can't believe that, Paige. Yeah. This year, six new featured character balloons will debut. Always love that. Let's check out this sneak peek from the test flight of the new balloons. They include Disney's Minnie Mouse, Extraordinary Nura, and the Elf on the Shelf. Gabby, Goku by Dragon Ball, that's a popular one, and Spider-Man. Yeah, the Macy's Parade lineup will be one of the largest yet with more than 5,000 volunteers. And good news, you can watch it here on Coast TV. Coverage begins 8.30 a.m. Thanksgiving. I'll be tuning in. All right, 6.56 now. Time for a look at your forecast before you head out the door. Yeah, Bob, we're going to do, we will have that dry out, yeah. but we had some morning rain to talk about. We have the morning rain, and for the first time in a long time, I'm saying grab your raincoat out the door and make sure you have your umbrella has a nice ring to it. We're still seeing showers across Sussex County. Some heavier rain right now between Ocean View and Fenwick Island. Also a pretty good shield of rain through Salisbury, Poplar Neck, and towards the coast as well, and even farther south and west. So we'll be in this rain for about the next two hours, and then we'll start to dry out. And of course, today we're thinking of our service members. Thank you for your service. 9 a.m. We're looking at 64 with cloudy skies, so we are starting to dry things out by 1 o'clock, seeing sunshine 71, and then by 5, 67. Paul Davis 10 day forecast blustery and cooler on your Tuesday 60 degrees cold Wednesday and Thursday morning in the 30s could be a little bit of frost there otherwise 53 on Wednesday that's a cold day and then upper 50s Thursday and Friday dry into the weekend with 60s and right now looking dry to start the beginning of next week with temperatures near normal so we got our shot of rain today and this looks like the only shot maybe for the next 10 days or so. All right, Bob, thank you, and thank you all for joining us on Coast TV News Today. And the Today Show is coming up next at 7. We will be back with Coast TV Midday at 11, so stick with us. And for even more news and coverage you can count on, download our Coast TV News and Weather apps. Have a great Monday morning, everybody.